my name is Dr Roland Loev. I'm a senior medical advisor at InjuryNet. Um, I assist uh, injured workers, employers, uh, rehabilitation providers and insurers um, in the best way for workers to recover at work when they're injured. Hi, my name is Corinne Hutton and I'm a return to work officer for the State Insurance Regulatory Authority of New South Wales. The importance of uh, recovery in, um, at work um, and injury management is communication. Communicating with the doctor is really important and some of the things you can ask is how best to communicate with the doctor, how long it might take the worker to recover, what are some of the medications the worker is taking and can they impact on their work, can the worker travel to and from work and what you can do to help the worker recover. An employer can discuss uh, an injured worker's uh, injury management um, with the treating doctor. Um, it's recommended that uh, the employer make contact with the treating doctor um, and uh, obviously uh, ensure that the communication is there to ask any questions required after the initial consultation. In general terms, the employer cannot insist on sitting in on the consultation. There are occasions where the injured worker might ask that the employer sits in for whatever reason, um, and then it would be by negotiation with the treating doctor. Some treating doctors do not like third parties in their consultations because they feel that it, it interferes with their ability to get good information about the, the whole person and the injury as well. Certificate capacity is a standard form that doctors use to tell everyone what the worker can do. When they're talking about the worker's capacity, they're talking in relation to any type of employment, not just what the worker was doing prior to their injury. The employer is welcome to ask questions about uh, anything on the uh, certificate of capacity. However, it needs to be directly related to the condition, the injury, uh, and also to the formulation of the doctor's opinion of capacity. In New South Wales, under the workers' compensation legislation, employers are obligated to offer work to workers following an injury, and it is really important because that supports their recovery. But if you can't do that or you're having difficulties, there are services and supports available to you that will help you um, in that process. The treating doctor may well give some suggestions or advice in an informal way on what tasks are suitable. The employer and the injured worker are there to negotiate about how those tasks are to be undertaken. So the workers' compensation is complex and one of the biggest barriers that employers encounter is around communicating with everyone. But communication is a key tool and it is really important that you seek assistance with that. If you're having difficulties or there are barriers to communication, you might like to engage an injury management consultant or a workplace rehabilitation provider. An injury management consultant is a doctor. They are used usually where there is a problem um, with the progress of the injured worker or the condition, um, where there is an impasse in communication and between the employer, between the, any of the parties that are involved. Um, the injury management uh, consultant is there to negotiate and to see how the barriers to progress um, can be overcome. The workplace rehabilitation provider is a trained health professional and they will be able to go into a workplace, establish a relationship with the employer and the injured worker, um, look through the workplace, assess the tasks that are available, look at any potential obstacles um, and the workplace rehabilitation provider can then provide a recovery at work plan for the person to progress with you know, reasonable guidelines as to time, when expectations are for upgrading, and also provide that plan for the treating doctor to review, although it's not necessary for the treating doctor to sign off on it. So case conferences can occur any time throughout a claim, and it can be with any or all of the parties involved in the claim. It's important to obviously do that at a mutually agreed time, and to set a bit of an agenda, have key points that everyone is, wants to discuss, and then they can come and have that discussion, and hopefully move um, the worker's recovery forward. 
If you're having a little bit of trouble organising that or want assistance, just speak to your insurer and they can help you with that. We know that helping your worker recover at work is good for your business. It can minimise any potential impacts financially, as well as making sure that the worker recovers in a timely manner. Any delays to a worker's recovery at work means that their recovery is prolonged. So make sure you're planning early, you're communicating with everyone and you're offering work to your worker.